Hello, welcome to my new home. I should say hi everyone. Welcome. So this is a four bedroom condo about 1,500 square feet in size. I decided to go for a farmhouse theme with a touch of modern luxe elements. This time I prioritise practicality, especially in terms of space planning. Um, simplicity in the design, so very clean and very simple finishes, as well as a lot of raw materials which I really love, um, like natural marble and wood. So starting with my entryway, um, as I really need the space, we decided to do full height carpentry um, cabinetry. We have um, all of our shoes in here as well as all our stuff that we need before going out. And we have some open shelvings as well to give us some flexibility. I really love the idea of open shelves as it gives um, us the opportunity to style the space. Um, right here we've got a family photo. This is actually our very first family photo that we took together. So now moving on to the living area. This is definitely one of the key highlights of my home. It is like the first thing you see when you enter the door and it's also like the largest space in this house. So this was originally meant to be like living area and then the dining is behind but because we decided to enclose the balcony and um, have the dining area there, we now have a really generous space um, for this living area and because the shape is quite elongated, I thought the idea of like an L-shaped couch would be perfect. Um, we decided to kind of enclose it so it feels like a meeting space. Um, that's why we decided to have two more excellent chairs right here. So we can really host like large groups of family and friends. On the weekends, my family loves lounging on this couch. We actually do not have a television in this house if you notice because um, we really love just spending time with reading. And, oh, Asha. And just, you know, like hanging out together. We actually have a flexible um, screen uh, LG stand by me, so we use that if we want to watch any movies together. But it gives us the flexibility so we don't have to mount anything to the wall. And on this side of the wall, we have a very big statement painting. Um, as you can tell, this is like the only pop of colour amongst everything else that's seemingly quite muted. Given that we have a very generous area, we decided to put a very huge rug to give an illusion of an even bigger space. And given that it's quite like longish in nature, we decided to add a console table right here. This is perfect because you know people can not only like put their marks with coffee and stuff, it also gives us another styling opportunity where I have my favourite decorative pieces um, and I can also add my favourite books so it's like a mini library. <laughs> Behind us is a wallpaper which I selected from Goodrich. I actually love how muted it is, but yet um, it kind of pops in its own way because of the textured finish. So this kind of brings out um, some three-dimensional effect and it gives the home a lot more depth. So welcome to my dining area. I really love this space because of how much natural light we have. Um, this is actually full glass and this used to be an outdoor space but we have um, enclosed it or actually the previous owner has enclosed it with um, glass curtains. So we have the flexibility of still um, making it an outdoor alfresco dining area or enclosing it to become like an indoor space. This dining table is definitely um, a very very good pick in my opinion. I decided to go for something that is rounded and you know not so structured because I really want um, something to soften the look especially since um, everything here is pretty much very squarish and structured already and also this gives us the option to add more chairs so for example in this corner and at that corner that's where I add um, the baby high chairs um, and you can also squeeze more people in on this bench if we are hosting like larger groups of family and friends the shelf behind me um, is something that I personally love doing. In my free time, I love styling, so this is like a really nice opportunity for me to style as well and for me to collect my favourite things, my favourite books, um, plants that I want to grow. Most of the decor pieces here are from Como Decor um, and this shutter bookshelf is from Commune. I actually got the last piece and this is like the display set but I really really wanted it so this is perfect. The soft furnishings in my house are really important. Um, and I'm very happy with how this turned out. We have these um, four height curtains uh, made of beautiful linen blend from Aratami. Um, it is very nice because it gives us the privacy that we want, yet it really allows all the natural light to come in. 
If you look at it up close, the fabric is really gorgeous and actually details like that really, really matter. This floor was actually a step down previously, but we've leveled it up um, to make it the same level as the living room. We added these beautiful engineered timbered wood, and we managed to find a color that is very close to the marble. So even though it's a different texture, it still looks very homogeneous. I really love this huge arch that we decided to do as it separates the living and the dining area, and curved finishes really help to soften the look of the entire place. This is my dry kitchen and it is definitely a dream come true for me because it had turned out exactly the way I imagined it to be and so much more. Um, I guess this area definitely brings out the farmhouse theme and feel. This is where I keep all my dining wear. Um, James prepares his cup of Nespresso. I reach into my tea closet below and make myself a cup of hot tea. And this is where we basically sit down, have a nice breakfast and chill. Uh, we had to put the fridge outside as well because there's no space um, inside. So I looked for something that is all white and all flush so it doesn't really stick out and I think it really blends very nicely with this entire area. This island tabletop is my favourite. Um, it is a very generous size which is why I like it. It gives me a lot of space when I'm preparing my food so I make my breakfast here and I prepare um, some food especially when I bake here as well. Below this island um, is actually full storage, very well hidden and that's perfect because these six drawers are where we keep all our essentials like Noah's snacks, the milk tins, um, our cutlery, so on and so forth. And this is very interesting as well. In here is actually more hidden storage. This is where we keep some of the food, some of our supplements, and this curved door is so beautifully done. My ID really did a great job with the finishes of um, this entire area, especially with the shaker doors. So my drawers actually end right here. We decided to sacrifice some space so that we have um, some area leg room right here. This is where we can also tuck in our bar stools and um, I love having breakfast here every morning. All the light that you see in this home is from Soul Luminaires. It is called the Gypsum series because of how it is concave into the wall. It really softens the look and it gives a whole new vibe to the entire place. We have two spotlights here and they are really cool because these that actually stick out can be pushed back in so they can be fully concealed because this is a false ceiling or they can actually um, be rotated. This light is actually shining um, against this wall and this is where I have a wall art. This is from Holy Art and it's a beautiful picture of the Holy family. So this is a five panel shaker barn door that I customized with Yongfang doors. I really wanted a barn door because it really adds to like a whole farmhouse vibe and feel that I'm going for and it also gives off a nice rustic charm. This is a gold recessed handle that I bought and I love how it looks as a whole. We decided to separate the dry and the wet kitchen because we do a lot of heavy cooking and from past experience, we really want to keep all the smoke and the oil on the inside so it doesn't spill over on the outside. So this is my wet kitchen. In all honesty, it was like the hardest space in the entire home um, to plan because it was very small and there were like so many different things that we wanted to put in here. But nonetheless, we made everything work. So let me just take you through what's in here. So first up is this entire space. This little corner right here is where we get all the cooking done. This oven is an absolute favorite. Um, this is from Butters Only and it's really so awesome. We use it for so many different recipes from like our steamed egg to steamed fish to grilled chicken to our pizzas and to all the different things. It basically um, is enough, like we can prepare a whole meal just with this oven. We decided to go for a four burner gas stove. Um, because we really wanted like you know evenness in the heating when we we're doing our, our cooking especially when we we're boiling soups and stuff so we decided a gas um, stove over an induction one and we really love Bertazzoni for its very high quality its fine engineering and most of all its aesthetics the knobs are super duper aesthetic and pretty um, and it's very easy to use very easy to clean um, everything here is definitely a favourite, um, not just for myself but for my helper as well. We've got some tabletop space right here, so I intend to actually put my bottle cleaner here um, for the baby bottles, but it also gives us some space to prepare food uh, when we're cooking. On top here we have um, a little drying rack, so this is where we put all the plates. Um, I love that it's concealed, so we 
open it to air uh, when, when we're drying, but otherwise we will close it once it's fully dry. As mentioned, I love the idea of open shelving, so this is a very nice touch to the kitchen. Um, this is where we add all the condiments and stuff. We decided to go for a cooler tone of marble in this kitchen, um, as in, in contrast to like what we, what we have um, in the living and the dining space where everything is a lot warmer. This time we got a double sink from Hans Grehe, um, as well as the kitchen mixer. We decided to go for a double sink because we want to separate like the dirty dishes from the less dirty stuff like our baby bottles and, and all. We also have a little drying rack um, from them as well. This is perfect because it helps us to keep all the utensils and all the smaller knickknacks um, once we've washed them. Adding these beautiful wooden lines from Aratami was actually an afterthought. After adding, I actually really enjoy it. It gives us privacy and it really adds to the aesthetic of the entire space. So this area right here used to be the laundry area for the previous homeowner. He used to stack like the washing machine and the dryer here, but because I needed like maximum space in the kitchen, I decided to just fully utilize the entire space to be kitchen and we decided to convert this area to become our little laundry slash yard. This used to be like the helper's toilet but we didn't really see a need for an additional toilet so we decided to convert this into our laundry space and I love that it's concealed. Ta-da! It actually opens up and um, all the mess is hidden. Um, so this is our two-in-one washer dryer. We got this from Sharp and it's really super, it saves us so much space. Initially we were thinking to stack like two machines but I'm so happy that we decided to get a two-in-one because now we have additional space for storage um, with the shelves on top. In terms of drying, um, given our family needs, we have like quite a lot of clothes and some clothes cannot be tumbled dried. So we have the Stygen. This is um, a machine that is super well loved by everyone at home because of how convenient it is. It can be controlled from this remote right here and it can be brought lower. Um, there's an anti-dust mite function which is perfect for like the kids, their clothes, um, their toys, their pillows, so on and so forth. Having a space to work, um, especially to work from home is so important. Previously we were working off the dining table and that was not the best idea because um, our things were everywhere and every meal time we have to pack up. So given that we have a dedicated space right now, um, each thing has its own space and its own little home and that's been really really good and helpful. We have a full height cabinet here and this is where I keep um, all my press gifts, um, the parcels that I need to unbox so they don't end up sitting um, at the front of the house when it arrives. Um, and here James keeps all his equipment. Here is a shared space, this is our desk and this is where we work. Um, we love the swivel chairs, they are from Commune as well and actually they come from the same set um, as the accent chairs back in our living room. Again, more open shelving here. So this is where we keep some of the books that we are currently reading and the rest of the books um, are stored right on top. So this is definitely a very good idea for a home office. This is a power track um, which gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot of options. Um, we can actually put this in at any point in the track that we want, that we want and it really helps to prevent messy wires from being all over the place. Natural light, especially sunlight um, and sunsets, really inspire me. So I'm very happy that we have a full glass um, window here and we have day curtains as well to block out and give us some privacy but still allow like, light to stream in. We decided to automate our home with Homogeneous and it has not only brought about so much convenience to our lives, but I really enjoy that it has allowed us to set different settings or different scenes in the home. So for example, if we want like a movie night scene or a date night scene, we can do so with a particular like light setting. And we can also automate like the time of the day that we want these different settings or scenes to be turned on. So this little black switch right here is my master switch and from which I have an overview of all the different rooms in my home. I can tell whether or not the lights are turned on or turned off in each room. But what I really enjoy, actually what I most enjoy is that with a single click of a button I can turn off all the lights in my house and that's pretty awesome especially at night when we're going to bed. From here, I can also check who's outside my door. So this is actually connected to the doorbell and when somebody rings the doorbell, um, his or her face will appear right here. So now let me take you into my common bathroom and show you this really fun space right here. 
The tiles in this common bathroom are definitely a highlight. Um, it almost looks like a wallpaper, doesn't it? But I think that was like the kind of idea that we were going for. We wanted um, something that's pretty homogeneous, um, not too distracting, so smaller patterns, but not too boring. So I guess this is like the most unexpected room of like the entire home. We definitely decided to inject a lot more fun in it. Um, that's why we decided to go for something louder than what you see in the other rooms. So this is my total washlet. It is absolutely life-changing. Why white when you can wash, right? Like washing is so much more sanitary and we really, really enjoy the experience every single time we use it when we bring out big business, small business, whatever. Um, the seat is warm, the temperature of the water can be adjusted according to each individual's preference and the best part is that it's self-cleaning. It's um, very water efficient without the use of harsh chemicals the bowl actually cleans itself. So this is definitely a luxury and everybody's favourite in this home. This little vanity is um, one of my favourite areas in the house. I love um, just spending time here, you know, having a nice hand wash, putting on my fragrance, uh, putting on my lipstick and, or touching up my makeup before getting out of the house. This little nook actually gives so much privacy and I really love how it makes me feel. Um, we decided to go for a very unique sink. It's not so structured, so it really kind of breaks up the entire space. And it also gives me quite a good amount of like countertop space. Leading into this area of my common bathroom, this is where the shower is. In here, we have um, a beautiful rain shower from Hans Grohe as well, um, as well as a mixer. I really love the shape of it. Um, it being round really breaks the monotony of like the square tiles. We also added some blinds from our tummy. Um, these are the exact same ones that you see in my kitchen. Uh, we decided to just keep the same look so um, it's not too confusing and not like too many different things going on. But it also blends in really well with the overall aesthetics of this common bathroom. This glass door is definitely functional and very practical. I love what my ID did with the handles. It makes it so unique. Um, she decided to add it this way, which makes it very practical as well because I can um, hang my towels here. And this way gives me very good grip when opening this glass door. So this is Noah's room. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to your papa's room. Noah spends a lot of his time playing here and I'm very happy that we managed to create a space that he truly enjoys being in. Um, as you can tell, there is nothing built in here. Everything is movable because we hope that this space will continue to grow with him. Uh, we have this huge um, Montessori open shelf here um, from Carlo Gentile and this is where he stores most of the things that he plays very often. Um, it's very easy to reach so that's perfect. Um, this is a bed from babyhood. We got this from Mother Care. It's a crib bed, so it's a very good size for him right now. The bay window is actually one of like my favorite parts of this room. Um, this space feels very homely and very cozy. We especially love the treatment that we've done um, to this bay window. We added laminates and with the sides, we added wooden panels to give it a very warm and inviting feel. For the soft furnishings, we decided to go with um, the same linen material that you see outside. So very beautiful, um, gives very nice light, um, but yet privacy. And we have blackout curtains as well for when he takes his naps. Given Noah's very fun-loving um, and quirky personality, I wanted his room to really reflect that. So when picking his wallpaper, I decided to go for something more bold, more fun. Um, as you can tell, this feature wall is also in a very, very loud and fun colour. For the kids' room, there isn't a false ceiling, so there's only a single lighting point and that's why we added track lights. Uh, what I love about these track lights is that there's a dim to warm function, so I can actually adjust like different intensities of light. This is Baby Ash's room. Yeah, it's your room. We love your room, right? What's your favorite thing about your room, Asha? For Ash's room, as you can tell, the whole vibe is a little different from Noah. Um, I chose a wallpaper, this is from Goodrich as well, that is a lot more muted, a lot more, um, I'd say like sweet. Instead of doing a full height wallpaper, we decided to do like a quarter wall with wall panels. 
So these um, wooden strip wall panels from Voila really add to the farmhouse vibe that we're going for. And I love how they look right next to this built-in carpentry that we did. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This whole cabinet is awesome because it really, really maxes out the full height. This room is actually really, really tall. We've got very generous um, height in this room. So we've actually stored things all the way right to the top. So for the bay window area, it's also um, similar to Noah's, but for the soft furnishings, we decided to do it a little differently. Instead of day and night curtains, oh dear, this guy is teething. Okay, you bite yourself? Um, 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 um. Instead of day and night curtains, we decided to do um, Roman blinds because I feel like Roman blinds really match the look um, that I'm going for for this room. And we also have full height curtains. These are blackout curtains, really important for um, a baby's room because even in the daytime when he's taking his naps, we try and black out the room. The, the curtain tiebacks are from Aratami as well and I really love um, this whole idea of having the full height curtains which elongates the room um, instead of something that is against the window which is half height because of the bay window. Asha loves rolling around um, the playmat. This playmat is actually from Wonder Mats and it's actually double sided so we actually use it um, in this room as well as outside. Um, this is a Montessori shell from Cuddle Gently and it's awesome because as you can see this little guy is going for it. He's, he's trying to get things off the shelf that he likes. So that's really the whole idea, um, to encourage him to play independently. So below this mat is a rug. It's a super duper pretty rug. This is a child friendly rug that I got from Bloom and Stone. And um, what I really like about it is that it's actually machine washable. So in case of any accidents, you know, all is well still. So before I head into my master bedroom, these doors are actually brand new. We replaced all the bedroom doors because we wanted something that would really fit the aesthetic of the home. Um, and in terms of the look and the feel, doors really make a difference because they're really huge, right? And they occupy so much of the wall. So we've spray painted these and we actually customized the color. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. Actually, the handles really make or break how the overall aesthetic of the door looks. And it was quite difficult looking for these door handles, um, especially in a beautiful gold. But we managed to find them at Equip Design and I really love that it is tarnish free. It is actually a very generous size for like an entire walk-in closet and I'm really blessed to be able to convert one room um, just to keep all my things. We really maxed out the space for this room. As you can tell, everything is from floor to ceiling. Upon completion, I'm very happy that almost everything fits and everything has a place and a home. This is definitely one of my favorite places in the room and this is where I spend a lot of time uh, every morning doing my skincare, my makeup, at night doing my skincare, drying my hair. Everything is um, very well concealed. We have a PowerPoint here. So this is where I plug in um, my Dyson and all the drawers in here um, is where I keep my skincare and my makeup and in here all my hair care. This mirror is actually suspended from the ceiling and I think it's pretty cool because it's very unexpected. This room is definitely still a work in progress. There's more that I want to do to it. Um, and you know, decluttering is like a constant thing. So I will definitely be updating you guys along the way with how things are going with this room and maybe do a little more detailed tour um, if I have the time. So this area is like a mini entryway into my master bedroom. This is what you see like the minute you enter the door. And actually from the corridor, you can also um, have a little peek of uh, this little photo wall that I've created. This space is very personal to me because um, with this photo ledge, it's where I keep a lot of photos that mean a lot to me. This area is something that um, I take a lot of pride and interest in and I will constantly be updating. Originally, this used to be like half wall and half closet, but because it's not like fully flush, the wallpaper wasn't an option. So these voila, like wooden strip panels were like really the perfect solution for this space and I really loved how it turned out. So before I let you into my master bathroom, let me show you these beautiful four panel louver sliding doors that I customized with Yongfang. I absolutely love how they turned out. I actually got inspired by these like Louvre panel doors when we were traveling back in Paris and I really love how it allows like natural light to stream in 
and you know the shadow that it creates is just so beautiful especially during evening time I know that light comes in this way so this is definitely the perfect place to have these doors it also creates an airflow um, so we get very good ventilation from um, the bathroom all the way through to our master bedroom windows I love how um, the doors open symmetrically so it really gives you the perfect like entryway into this beautiful century I really take a lot of pride in um, my like nighttime routine and my me time and having a bathtub is definitely a dream come true uh, we got this beautiful bathtub from Toto and um, all these brush bronze finishes um, and fittings are from Atsor so these um, tiles right here are definitely um, quite unique and different if you look at my, my bathroom in its entirety everything is in this beautiful like creamy marble um, the floor as well as the walls are the same so this is quite a highlight because this is the only thing that is like quite different in this space but yet it pairs so perfectly together I decided to add a little stump um, I got this stump from Ruma I really did quite a lot of shopping uh, looked many places and I finally found the perfect stump so I'm very happy with that purchase as well um, this is where I keep my cup of tea my favorite book um, it's really very easy and within reach so right here, this is our shower area and this um, Reinfinity is from Hans Grimme. It looks like a huge UFO, it's like this big round thing, but it is super awesome. The experience is really, really out of the world and it makes taking every single shower something I really look forward to. Somehow I have lots of ideas running through my head every single time um, I'm taking a bath or taking a shower. Sometimes I shout out of, of the bathroom and tell James to like, Pen it down in case I forget once I get out. But yeah, this is truly an experience. So this time we managed to fit in a double sink. So every single morning there's no need to fight for like the sink. Each of us, we have a his and a hers. Um, even the drawers, like all of my stuff are here, all of his are here. And we can, you know, get ready in the morning simultaneously. I love how generous this countertop space is. Um, and in terms of, you know, the overall look, I feel like this really adds to the very luxe feel of the home, um, yet not losing like the farmhouse element. So this stone wall especially is beautiful. I love natural finishes and I really like how this perfectly contrasts against the marble. The marble is a little warm in terms of tone, which is perfect because um, I really want like my bathroom to be a very warm and inviting space. We decided on a little scone right here. This is a very cute accessory to the wall um, as well as the two arch mirrors. So come in, I will show you like the most corner corner, rest corner of this bathroom. Um, this is like a very private space. So um, even if James is taking a dump here, I'm not gonna notice him. He gets his privacy. Um, this is where we have our total washlet and um, once again like the experience here is as awesome as it is in the bathtub. So now let's head into the master bedroom. So this is our master bedroom. This is where we retreat every single night. It is extremely important for James and I to feel very relaxed um, and very comfortable in this space. So as you can tell from the way we dress and from you know our preferences, we love things that are very muted because it feels very calming to us. Um, it's not distracting and it helps us to really, really unwind. We decided to go for a full-on lime wash clean to finish for um, this wall as well as for the ceiling because we wanted the whole room to feel extra cozy and the textured paint actually kind of brings out you know the warmness and the tone of the room so picking a bit that is extremely comfortable was like our utmost priority it was something that we were really ready to invest and splurge on we decided to get the mattress from Plebeia because um, we actually went to a showroom uh, one of the pop-ups I, I guess a few months back and we really enjoyed how how the experience was we actually tried it there and um, we couldn't stop thinking about it so here it is in our house right now and every single night we really look forward to getting a good night's rest um, with these beautiful mattresses the bed frame that you see um, is from Commune actually this really ties in with what you see in our living room we have some leather finishes like the backing of our accent chairs this bedroom is actually a very very good size we're actually really blessed that we managed to squeeze in a closet here for James as well so this is where he keeps all his 
stuff. All his clothes, he's got like drawers um, to keep his ties, his accessories, more space on top, which I see that he hasn't fully utilized. Maybe he's saving it for me. We really love what our ID did with the doors. Um, given that you know it occupies quite a lot of space in the room, um, it is definitely very nice detail that, that she's added with these beautiful shaker panels. As mentioned, we love muted tones, so we picked a wall art that really fits right into this room like that. This is uh, from Como Decor. When I saw it, I immediately knew that this piece would belong in this bedroom, so we ordered it and I think it really like ties in the vibe of the whole room together. For the soft furnishings in this room, we have Roman blinds as well as full height blackout curtains, very similar to Ash's room, but for his, he, his opens from the middle. This one is pushed all the way to the side because we have little wall space right here so it fits right in. The bay window treatment is very similar to the other two rooms as well. We decided to go for you know the exact same shade um, of wood and of wood panels because we wanted some uniformity. I also love the carpet that we got um, in this room. It makes the whole vibe and the feel of it so much more cozy. The size is great because um, of how big it is. It really gives an illusion of a bigger space. And the pattern as well, it's perfect. Um, it has a slight pop of colour, um, but yet it doesn't steal too much attention away from um, everything else. I think it complements very nicely with everything else in the room. I'm very happy I managed to fit in a sideboard into my master bedroom. It definitely was challenging finding one um, that is narrow enough so I wouldn't compromise too much on the walking space. So when I found this, it was perfect because it's very flush, you no know, big handles and stuff sticking out, very clean looking and the colour of wood was perfect. I also managed to customize a mirror from Como Decor and I've decided to layer it behind the sideboard. This huge arch mirror is perfect because this is where James and I check out our outfit before heading out every single day. Every home is unique and beautiful and I think the little elements in um, each person's home really reflect the family's way of life and that's what makes each home so unique and so beautiful. I hope that this little snippet um, into my family's life and into my home um, is something that you enjoyed watching and I guess I'll see you in other videos soon. Bye!